Sup everybody, this is Sam, Third Shift Millionaire. Um, this isn't the day in the life. <laughs> so, a while ago, I got this thing in an auction, right? And I'm just about to test it. I figured, let me just record it. What this is, is a, um, it's an old-fashioned, this is old school, like, I mean, 1950s, I believe. Um, how to keep your floors clean. This is a Regina custom floor buffer and it has all these brushes so this is the box that came in i'm in my kitchen right now so this is the box it came in it's an old thing i got in the auction a while ago and now i'm about to test it it's scrub floors waxes polishes buffs dispense liquid cleans rugs sands steel wool um it says optional i don't know what that means but when I opened the box, it was, the handle was here and the base right here. And inside, it's old school. So there's a connector. I'm going to show you it afterwards because I was like a little bit um, careful with it to plug it in because the plug connection in here. And I'll show it to you. But I haven't turned it on yet. So I figured, let me grab my camera and show you what I'm about to do. Sometimes when you buy things, you take a risk on it. Um, it's a rug cleaner. I'm, I'm gonna show you something. The coolest thing I saw, what was it? I think it was in here. Look at this. Look at this pick. It's like way back in the 50s kind of drawing. And look at, um, just the style of it. It's so retro. It's like Leave It to Beaver back in the 1950s kind of thing. And this went for around $139 back then. Um, there was something else. Hold on a second. And that's another instruction. Um, hold on. These are all the items it came with. Automatic dispenser, twin brush, floor polisher. Oh, that's this is the where the soap goes. And I guess it attached to the stem. All the way up. Um, I'm not gonna put soap in it. I'm not gonna test the whole thing. I'm just gonna sell it at it. Because this is a good historical um, find also. I'm not sure if someone's really gonna use this. They could just buy, put it on the museum or whatever they wanna sell it for or use it for. This is old school kind of stuff, man. So, that's the old dispenser. I mean, just the... Look at this. I don't have anything in there. Smell it. I don't think it's been used. I think they just had it. But just the quality of it. The, I'm going to close it back up. Yeah, so this is the automatic soap dispenser. I put two brushes underneath. And... I'm trying not to hold on a second I gotta be careful with this um, the paper itself oh this is the cool part right here another cool part 1950s um, kind of art drawing on it 1960s I think I'm not sure circa um, but you could tell how old this is this is very retro oops my camera tilted on you um, let me see if I could, yeah, give you another view of what it looks like. And, um, right here, like I said, I gotta be careful with the, cause these, I believe I could actually sell these on eBay by themselves for a profit. Just the instructions itself. I'm sure there's collectors out there who like retro things like this. Um, and this is the brushes. These are the brushes. I don't think they've been used. This is so old and stuff, man. But um, that's the brush. This is this item. Don't mind the tape measurement. I was doing something else earlier. Um, like I said, this is what I do sometime after I get an item. The scale on the floor was on the, another item I just tested. So I'm about to turn this on. So, oops, I gotta be careful the plug is right here and I plugged it into the wall and I don't know if it's gonna turn on what does this say ok 
Okay, 400 watts. Hmm. All right, guys. Let's see if this bad boy works. The on switch is right here in the handle. Um, oh, damn, it works. <laughs> now, hold on a second. It's pink. It's a floor buffer. It only has like one speed, I take it. So it turns on and it's brushing my floor. I could smell the, um, you know, the motor. I could smell it. I don't think this has been operated on. So this is pretty cool. So I know it works. I'm gonna turn it off. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna turn it off. I mean, I already turned it off. Now, hold on, I'm gonna put it on pause because I'm gonna unplug it from the wall. All right, so I unplugged it from the wall and I'm gonna show you what I was talking about on this here. This is how old the, this is like the whole I mean, how things were done back then. I gotta, be, I gotta be careful. I got one hand. I'm doing this, but you see this little. Oh my, I got the wrong light, and I'm in the wrong angle. Anyways, I'm gonna try my best. Right here, you see this little black thing. There's two of them. There's one on the bottom base right here, and then there's one on top. And there's a little wire. Now this attached to it. I have to unhook it. So I'm gonna um, bear with me. I'm gonna try to do it with one hand. I don't want to break it. Actually, I'm going to pause it because I don't want to break it. All right. So this is what I was talking about. This right here connects to this. So this is how um, I guess things were done back then. Um, I don't know. This is this is pretty cool. I mean, like I said, I turned it on. It was buffing the floor. I should have taken a picture of it while it was spinning. While it was just spinning. You know what? I'm going to do that now. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, I plugged it back in. And I'm going to go turn it on. And we're going to see how it spins. Hold on. i got to reach up here. I mean, I did snap it in right. I'm tempted to put my head in there. Hold on. <laughs> it's not going too fast But it sounds like it's picking up speed But this is the light brushes They're not the, the hard bristle ones So I'm going to turn it off Hold on a second Alright, as you can see It works And um Yeah, I just got to clean this a little bit that's just um that's not foam that's um peanuts you know packing peanuts this right here kind of just unstuck on it um so i'm just gonna clean it up take a picture of it i already took a picture of the box and um i gotta get the weight and then i'm gonna ship it i believe i'm going to ship it as is meaning bear with me here I might just ship it as is in this box like this, the length of the box. Um, it's retro. I don't know if someone's going to want the box. The box could even sell for itself because it is retro. So I got to figure what to do. I don't know if I'm, if I'm going to wrap it up, but I'll figure it out. Um, so this is just something old. I have to look it up on eBay, see how much it's going for, because I know it's retro. I know it's old just by the whole paper you could tell by the way it I mean um the age the browning of it like it's crisp like it could just break in your hand it's brittle but it's not that old that it does that because I've I've um I've come across material where you just pick it up and it just falls in your hand um so this is just a rug cleaner but what I really like about this is just the retro concept of it. I'm sure someone could remember this back in the days. Maybe bo baby boomers. 
could remember this back then. Oh, maybe older than baby boomers. I'm not sure which generation this was from. But judging by the way they advertise it with the lady with the skirt, it, I'm thinking 1950-ish. You know, the whole back in the day homemaker with the cat with the, um, you know, how it was back then. A lot of things changed since then, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> A lot of things have changed. Um, and this is from the regional corporation, Huawei, New Jersey. I don't even know if they're still in business. But anyways, I just wanted to share this with you. And look at this dude. He's it's buffing the floor. He's got the hat. He's all dressed up. Like he's putting no effort in the in cleaning the floor. He's like, this is so easy. I could do it in my dress clothes kind of thing. You know, it makes it feel, feel like, okay, I could buy this. That means I don't have to do a lot of work. The machine will do all the work for me. It's good advertising if you really think about it. And you've got her, the homemaker, <laughs> way back in the days, still today, you know. But anyways, yeah, so that's all I really had to share with you today. Um, continue, I guess that's all. Oh, yeah. Did I forget anything else? No, nope, that's the hard brush. There's two of them. Um, I'm going to have to list this on eBay, polish it up a little, no pun intended. Um, and yeah, it's a nice looking um, retro floor scrubber. I don't remember how much I paid for this on um, on the lot. Um, I know I bought a bunch of other things. This was a different video. I didn't document that video when I bought these items. On the, it, I got this from Max Sold also, so I did not document this one. When I picked it up, but this one was on the was at um the online auction. So yeah. Um that's it. I just wanted to share this with y'all. And um tell me what you think. Like and subscribe, leave a comment below. Uh that's about it. Continue to enjoy your journey, continue to enjoy the hustle. And I'm gonna see how much I'm gonna price this for. But it is very retro, very um very authentic. I guess someone could really use this for timepiece or just to use it for themselves i don't want it it's pink i have nothing against pink <laughs> but anyways this is me sam third shift millionaire continue to hustle hard continue to hustle smart later peace